How do you get consistent sound every week? And is it even possible with different people running the mixer? Yes. And in this video, I'll let you in on one of the most helpful tools for getting the same great sound every week, no matter who is behind the mixer. I've been after this for over 15 years, mixing great sound every week and teaching my 10,000 plus students to do the same. We were already getting great sound at my church using the simple strategies in my flagship course called Church Sound Made Simple, which is linked below, by the way. But when we set up this dedicated RTA screen, whoa, I mean, it took something that was already awesome and made it better. This setup lets us see in real time what's happening in our room across the entire frequency spectrum. There's an accurate DB reading at all times to make sure that things do not get too loud. But even more important is the EQ curve that we are all aiming for. Our EQ curve is something that I've developed over many years of trial and error. It's the key to creating pleasant yet powerful sound. It's warm, it's clear, it's big, and it's spatial, but it's not harsh. And if that's what you're going for, download my EQ curve cheat sheet using the link below. It'll make it easy for you to implement. So let's dive into the details of this setup. We're using a Mac mini with a 15 inch portable display. The Mac is mounted under the desk and the display is mounted using a tablet stand. You'll need a microphone with a flat frequency response. We use the DBX RTA mic. It's a budget friendly mic that gets great results. The RTA software is called Open Sound Meter and it is free to download. We use the triple chart configuration. The top chart is the current dB reading. This gives us the same information as a standalone dB meter. However, you need to calibrate the reference mic's gain for this to be accurate. And since we value the ear health of our listeners, we invested in a sound level calibrator that you place over the reference mic. It emits a 94 dB signal at one kilohertz. So this enables you to hover over the one kilohertz line and open sound meter, and then you can set gain on the reference mic to read 94 dB. And once this is done, your mic is calibrated. Make a note of that gain setting and don't change it. The middle chart is a spectrum reading showing you what is being heard by the reference mic across the entire frequency range. The bottom chart is a magnitude reading which compares the pure signal that's going to the speakers with what's actually being heard in the room. And for this to work, be sure to configure your measurement inputs correctly. The M input should be the reference mic and the R input should be your main mix. Let me show you what this looks like on Sundays at my church. One of the biggest problems this has solved is keeping the bass at the right level weekly. It used to vary a bit based on who was mixing because we all hear those low frequencies differently. But now we set the level of the bass guitar using the RTA curve and then build everything else upon a solid foundation. This setup is well worth the investment. All of the equipment is linked below along with my frequency curve cheat sheet. You should also consider enrolling in my Room EQ Made Simple course because if you don't have your room dialed in, you'll have a really hard time hitting the right frequency curve. Everything you need for consistent great sound is linked below.